it's Monse and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I will be sharing with you guys my four top favorite apps for learning Korean beginner edition. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first app that I absolutely love for actually learning Hangul. I actually have two apps that I have for learning Hangul. So the first app, it is called Write Korean. And this app, it is a very simple app. It is very easy to kind of like manage around like it's really just i don't know how to explain it it's really direct like you know what you have to do so it's basically just practicing your vowels and your consonants and i really recommend this app because there is a lot of repetition in this app and honestly to be able to memorize hangul it's just about memorization and just repetition 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 and repetition so that is why I really, really like this app because it kind of, it gets annoying, but it's a good annoying it's good because it literally gets stuck in your head. Like it's kind of impossible to get it out of your head once you practice it and practice it over and over and over again. So that is why I really, really enjoy this app. And also the feature that they have, it's like you first practice for about, let's say five minutes. You practice, you practice, you practice the, the couple of letters that they give you. And then after that, they give you like a test. So you basically just, they quiz you on how much you remember on how much you know, all of that. And as you can see here, I'll give you guys like an example on the screen, but I really, really like this app. Like I said, a lot of repetition. That's literally all you need for being being for being able to learn Hangul. So yeah, I have used this app and I really, really, truly like it. So now onto the second app for learning Hangul. I really like this app as well. However, you kind of always have that one where you prefer the most. And personally, I prefer Write Korean more than scripts but as well if you guys it all depends up to you so you could try both of them but scripts it's basically the same thing it's literally just repetition repetition and repetition the only little con that i have about um scripts is that it's kind of like it lags a little bit when you try to draw out the actual korean letter it drags a little bit and it's like lagging so that's the only downside of this um, app, but apart from that, I love that they have a lot of repetition as well and also like the entire app is just cuter It's more like aesthetic. So I don't know. That's why I really like this app as well But yeah, you also learn Korean vowels and Korean consonants and you learn double vowels and then double consonants however From what I know in one right Korean they didn't have double consonants and double vowels but in scripts, they do have that. So I think that's a like, plus for this app. So that is why I also recommend it. And also, literally, it's I don't even know what else to say. It's I love it so much because it's just repetition. And they I feel like um, scripts makes you write it even more. So it's like just writing and writing and writing and writing. And also the pronunciation, you can press on if you want to hear the pronunciation over and over again, which is really good because you get to hear obviously how that letter it sounds like and how you can be able to pronounce it as well so yeah another reason as to why i really like scripts is because it actually tracks your progress so basically there's this little section and i'll show you guys here on the screen as well they have a little section where it says track like progress or something like that i'm not really sure but it just says like how many days you have practiced and that's basically like a streak they like keep count of the streaks and it like keeps track of how much you did in that day or how much you've done in that week or month or whatever and that's why i really like it and the other one in right korean they don't have that but i really don't mind but i just think this is a really cute like and cool feature that they have that they track your progress and your streaks just so that you could see if you're practicing every day and maybe you need to practice more days or maybe i don't know but i maybe that tool could be useful to you so yeah guys those are my two apps for learning hangul and it honestly is just up to you if you want to use both of them i mostly use write korean i don't really use scripts but i still have it on my phone just in case but it all depends up to you guys you could use both you could just use write korean or you could just use scripts or there are also there are also other um apps for learning hangul but these are personally just the two that really like caught my eye and that really just helped me in general being able to learn hangul and just being able to practice it because it's 
it's just about practice guys but yeah guys now moving on to like learning korean vocabulary so i have two more apps for learning korean vocabulary and i'm going to share those with you guys right now so the first app that i have for learning korean vocabulary it is smart cards smart cards it's basically like this app where you can make your own flashcards in korean or honestly you could use it for any other languages i use it for french and for italian but i feel like i think it, i think it was made just for korean but whatever so this app you basically create your own deck or your own yeah flashcard deck where you can make anything like just all of the vocab words that you want for example i'll show you guys here my personal vocabulary korean deck and i just practice it over and over again and what i really like about this app unlike other apps like quizlet or i don't know i don't know i don't know any other flashcard apps but what i really like about this one is that it uses something called like space repetition so it's basically where you practice those vocab words and the ones that you get right they don't show up anymore until a certain amount of time where it is like scientifically proven that you will still remember it until they give it to you it's really confusing that is why i really like it and so the cards that you don't know they have you practice and practice and practice over and over again until you finally get them so that is why i really like smart cards i so now the second or last app that i have for you guys for learning korean vocabulary is actually kind of like it's an app but it's like kind of like a little game and as well i'll show you guys here on the screen so basically this is the app called infinite korean and i really really like this app because it's just like a game so basically they give you like a ton of categories to choose from numbers colors weeks whatever you guys want days of the week and so it kind of goes in order and so you kind of just play the game and i'll as well i'll show you guys here and i really like this because it's like kind of something fun that you could do but you're also like you know learning korean so it's just something like combined into two and yeah this is just like dedicated towards like korean vocabulary obviously it's called infinite korean duh but yeah so those were all of my four apps that i have for you guys for being able to learn korean as a beginner and of course i'm still a beginner and i am still using these apps but i just wanted to share it with you guys for those of you who may be learning korean who may want to learn korean these four apps will definitely help you on your korean language journey so i hope this video was helpful in some way shape or form and i thank you guys so much for watching this video remember to like and subscribe to my channel we are almost at 500 subscribers i am so insanely grateful for all of you guys who have subscribed but yeah guys hopefully i'll see you this upcoming sunday guys thank you guys so much for everything and have an amazing day bye guys